Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Writing Down in Dice, a dice-based roguelike dungeon crawler that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today. One year ago, we played Writing Down from the same developers. It was a two-button, minimalist roguelike dungeon crawler, and I thought it was really good. I thought they executed that minimalist concept very well. This is going to have the same minimalist concept as far as the dungeon crawling elements, but it seems to be going for a more complex and rich combat system, which is very up my alley. I love dice. I love roguelikes. Let's go. This just sounds like I'm going to like it even more than I like that one. And I thought it was already quite good. So here we're going to go. Welcome to writing down in dice. Your goal is to reach the treasure at level 12. Oh. Your character will start each dungeon in the top left position and you can only move right or down. In each dungeon, you will find different types of cards. You can hover over any card or element in the game to read a description of its effects. Bloop. Press D to move right to start your first battle. Okay. Bloop. Okay. At the beginning of each turn, you will roll your character's dice. The Fire Barbarian will start the game with two fire dice and one darkness dice die. Ooh, wow. Holy crap. It has the right plural. You can use your dice to activate your character's skills. Activate Wildfire Gambit. It requires two fire dice. Keep in mind that you can hover over the skill icon to read its description. Roll three random. So if we put in we put in the two, two fire dice of any kind to roll three completely random ones. To defeat an enemy, you have to fill all of their slots using your dice. Gotcha, so it's almost like puzzly in that sense. That, <laughs> that menu sound. Some slots have requirements such as having a minimum value or using a die of a specific color. Try to defeat the one-eyed. That's going to be you here. So we need a five or higher, and this just needs to be one of those two, it looks like. So we drop in that, and then we drop in that. Use the remaining dice on the Infernal Soldier. You won't defeat it, but it'll be easier to beat on the next turn. Gotcha. So, plus four. Can we possibly... No. We could just murder that one instead, but... Alright. When you can't use any more dice or just want to end the turn, press the end turn button. Do it now, and the enemy turn will start. It's a much more um, simplified version of a dice-based system. It seems like keeping with kind of the minimalist theme. It's a more straightforward, like, puzzly... Almost like a dice-based resource management game in this format, but from what I've seen, it looks like it'll get fancier. In the enemy's turn, enemies will attack you, and some enemies, like the Infernal Soldier, will activate their skills at that time. Two damage points to you. Increase the attack value of all enemies. One point on the enemy turn. Bloop. The Infernal Soldier skill increases. Yep. Gotcha. You start the game with a Fire Tablet artifact. Each artifact has powerful effects. Ooh, we got another ability. Upgrade all of your fire dice one point at the start of every turn. Even with the fire tablet, your roll this turn has not been very good. So use your new skill, Fiery Boost, to upgrade a die and defeat it. Upgrade any die. So it doesn't have to be a fire die. By three points. Gotcha. So we pop that in there. We get a five. Bada bing, bada boom. But then we can't use... I mean... To me, it feels like we... It should have suggested we put them in there... But then I guess here's that does go to randomness because we get random dice. My only thing I don't like about the game right now is this. <laughs> the next button sound effect feels so out of place. Remember that enemies can activate their skills at times other than their turn. Inflicts you damage when you place a die on this enemy equal to the value on that die. Gotcha. Okay, you won't let me do it? Okay, no. It was just, we were just tutorial locked. Gotcha. So thankfully, it looked like we had some armor. All right. That seems like a nice middle ground while still staying kind of minimalist, but taking down a, like, dice-based uh, combat system. I do like that. Move down to the Fire Shrine. So this sort of almost acts as kind of our map. Here you can use the gold you get from enemies to obtain advantages. Some are applied instantly, like the max health increase. Buy it now! Please. Blessing, roll the fire die. I mean, so that's an active we can use five times. Get ten armor points. 
You're just going to block things. Add a permanent extra fire that your pool. Oh, my God. Bloop. Others will grant you blessings. Roll the fire die. Sounds good. And you don't have any more gold, so go back to dungeon. Press end encounter. Cool. You can also use your gold at the artifacts merchant to buy powerful artifacts. I don't have any. Press S to start the last encounter of the tutorial. Alright, what's your deal? Its attack will ignore your armor points. You need three fire dice. Use the blessing you just got. Where is it? Up here. Oh no, that's that sound too. Alright, get wrecked. Yeah, what it feels like is, um, it feels like one of those, like, one deck dungeon, and like, I don't know, some, some stuff like that, where almost in the, that board game space is kind of what I'm talking about, and we finished the level. Oh, that was the last one in the tutorial, and then we, like, get to do an actual run. Oh, okay, gotcha. The Violent Volcano, level 2 of 12. Fight two monsters... I feel like we want to fight more, right? Because we want to get more money. Three at the same time is a little bit spooky. One second here. What do we got? Yeah. Eh. All right. Okay. So we have, as far as abilities go, increased attack value of all enemies on for two points on the enemy turn. That looks like a pat. Is that a passive? Or is that happening? I think that happens every turn. So I think we want to get rid of you first. Oh my god, wait. Wait, we need to do all of those? Is that that right? Oh man, that's gnarly. The good news is we can um, get all of those out of the way. We're going to take a bit of a smacking and there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Because we couldn't kill him in time. So we are going to, like, that's going to suck. So, also, here, I kind of want to get some random ones, because we want to get some low dice. Good. Low dice will help us get rid of this guy. We take the two damage, two guaranteed damage, which... Ow. Um, then we pop that in, and then we'll just go for an upgrade, and we'll put that in the four plus. I mean, this is going to hurt. This is a truly disgusting first fight. I know we could have rolled that extra die or something. So we very specifically need a blue or a green in order to handle that. Thankfully, we can. We should have rolled the extra die to take that guy out early. I just... I'm very much in the camp of, like, I don't want to spend all my resources right now. Are you kidding me? I just got here. Okay. Recover three health points, three charges. All the dice that are in your dice pool at the moment are transformed into fire dice. All are transformed into holy dice. It could be nice to have that as an option, but what I really want to do is probably just uh, make sure we can heal up, because that was a lot of damage taken. So we would get to learn what these monsters are over the course of time, of course. Go to the campsite. Looks like we'll probably be able to heal. If this is one of those games where you do heal up at the end of every level, then that much damage coming in frequently makes more sense. Oh. Destroys a random die at the start of your turn. Oh, you jerk, man. Increase the attack value by one point when you place die on this enemy. So we only want to go for that guy when we're going to finish him off. Let's start with this. See what we get, and we'll work from there. Okay. We can take you out of here. And then, do I spend... I'm gonna... I'm gonna probably regret that. <laughs> I'm gonna probably regret that, because we probably are gonna heal, aren't we? Yeah, this guy just... He's in nothing. Obviously a much easier fight. We also handled it better. But yeah, it's kind of like... It's almost more of a puzzle take is the thing. Out we go. To the campsite. Maybe it's going to be like a heal or do blank. Choose a bonus. See, that's... Yeah, okay. That is understandable. Three gold, eight health. Eight health or four armor? 
I guess, why would you ever take the four? I mean, I guess you would take it if you were at full. Mm, I'm going to be greedy and I'm going to get the gold. Choose a new skill. Ooh. Oh, it's very specific. Get five health points. Upgrade all of the dice in your pool by three points. So we have three. We can put in one, two, and then we get three random dice. So we would have one, two, three, four. Boom. We can upgrade two by three. It's not bad unless we, like, if we can get another die in our pool, then it, this becomes much better. I'm going to get the combustion cure. How often will that be relevant? Yeah, I don't know about that. Buy artifacts using gold coins. Buy blessings. I don't want to go to the shop, but we'll make up our mind after we do this fight. Okay, so let's take a look here. Inflicts poison on a die. They deal damage to you equal to their value when used. Oh my god, and it's a six. You jerk, man. So you're going to be doing four damage. Removes two of its placed die when another enemy dies. So I'll tell you what. Let's just go ahead and... Let's get you out of here. Not going to deal with that poison. You remove two of its placed dice. I'm not using that. I'm not a crazy man. I'll take the three damage. The three guaranteed. Three plus, three plus. Definitely go with the... I was going to say definitely go with the random, but I guess it's not definite. So we got a green. That's going there for sure. Okay, we can actually just kill. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So I'm not hurting quite as much as I thought I would. This could bite me in the butt, but I'm going to go to the right. I guess the difference between a two fight and a three fight is it's, it's pretty big. <laughs> Reduce the value of all dice in your dice pool by five points when it dies. Oh, God, this is so... This is heal for five. It makes no sense to heal for five against this. We need to kill first, and then we'll go from there. Oh, God. This is probably going to bite me in the butt. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot, man. I'm an idiot, man. I'm an idiot, man. More at 11. All right. The good news is I can, at the very least, do that. Set it for next turn. If I can roll well, got a th which I did not do. Okay. If I could roll well, I could bump up one of them. The fact that it has to be fives and reds. Like, it doesn't make sense to just stay here, though. Right? If, I t if he did two damage, I could maybe stay and literally farm off him. Because this has infinite uses? Question mark? Uh, let's go get an artifact, see what's up with that. Upgrade all of your darkness dice to a six after killing an enemy. Recover one HP after killing an enemy. Uh, gain an armor and an HP after killing an enemy sounds lovely. Okay. So, no, we can't go back. That's the whole point. Why doesn't he ever go um, left and up? <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, that was not a campsite. All right. Holy moly. Reduce the value of all of the placed... All oh, it's placed dice at the start of your turn. My guess would be that that means, um, well, first of all, like, 
See, I, there's no point to heal, though. Like, there's no point to heal right now. I can heal for five and then take six. Cool. Um, my guess is if it gets reduced below one, you are screwed. I do think we go for this. Put in the poipo. All right. So we should gain both. Yeah, we gain both a health and an armor. Good. So we're only actually taking one damage. All right. If we can, uh, yeah. This is for science. When the one drops technical value, does that? What's the point of it? Reduce the value of all its place. Okay. There we go. Yeah. 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 Totally is a thing. But. I'll tell you what. I'm farming off you. This is why healing things have limited use. <laughs> this is... This right here is the... Uh, is the reason, man. I know we're not healing like a lot. There's no point to even put this in. But we're slowly chipping him away, anywho. Okay, see this... Now we got a turn where it doesn't make sense for us to do that. A.K.A. we... Can't. We might as well bump this up. Makes it less likely to go away. Alright, so we can kill. Nice. That's the dream. That's the dream. So we get a stop at 18. I get the kill. We'll go up to 19 in an armor. Suddenly we're feeling a lot better. Feeling a lot better all of a sudden. I have two bucks. I'm not going to a shop. I ain't going to a shop. Let's go for the fights. Especially now that we, like, kill and heal and stuff. What's your deal? Just do four damage. Your deal is you're a scary man. Again, there's no reason to stall and heal on this turn. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get five. If I, if I, hmm. well, I guess we might as well do this way, but I'm probably, it's probably not going to help, right? Because this is going to go down to one and I'm probably not going to get a, uh, yeah, if you're going to slap that in my face, you better believe I'm just going to just take the heal. All right. I like it. I like it. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Same deal. Tis with tis. If you're gonna let me farm off you, I'm gonna farm off you. 26. If we could end the fight at... Oh my god. Oh my god. Again? Not that I don't want the help and, like, the free heals and stuff, but, like, there's a reason these things usually are limited. The f fun thing is we are slowly... We are slowly taking him down anyways. So I kind of want to push for the kill this turn. Okay. Which is good because we don't have a choice. Perfect. Ideal, ideal. So we have another campsite after this. Two increased attack value by two when another enemy dies. Uh, give me a green or a purple. Thank you. Put the six. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if we put the six in. Oops. I, I knew we had it. I just had it in the wrong order. Oh, yeah. I guess. No, I'm right, though. It doesn't matter because. I could have put it in after, that's the thing. And then we would have been slightly in a better position, but I have a sneaking suspicion that it does not matter, and I am right. Because of the, the manipulation of our dice that we have, it's just, we can pretty reliably kill that guy in one turn. 
Easy. Next. And now, I mean, I'm so happy that I went for the uh, the gold when I went for it. The three armor is not bad. Interesting. I do think we just take another fire die because the fact that we went for combustion core, if we didn't, I'd say maybe not. I'll go for the artifact merchant, I think. I'd like permanent upgrades instead of temporary ones. Roll a void do void doy. <laughs> Place a die in a random enemy after killing an enemy. Hmm. Roll a random die at the start of each battle if you have zero armor points. I'll say sure. I know that I'll probably have armor points at five armor points. and <laughs> These are disenergistic. I'll put the cursed axe, but that could be bad. Like if we put a random die in the guy who burns you when you put a die in him... We don't like that very much. So by going that way, we do have to take a fight with three in it. I think I'd rather take it first, and then we can decide if we actually want another one. Because we have a little bit of snowball potential. Ignores your armor points, does six damage. Oh my god, you gotta... Wow. Okay. Inflicts you with one damage point for each die remaining in your dice pool when another enemy dies. I think what we have to do is still... Wait, what is this? Inflicts you two points of damage whenever you use a skill. Oh, you son of a gun. <sighs> I... I am gonna... I don't like it, but I am gonna do this because... This is so specific. Oh my god. Oh no, this has to be plus... It has to be a, a four above. I was like, okay, equals. So we have that going for us, but we don't have the... Yikes. Alright, this is gonna hurt. And after all that, we don't even have anything to do with this too. Yeah, splitting was not the correct answer. This is gonna this is gonna suck so bad. But for what it's worth, it was going to suck no matter what. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just bad, man. I need to get some dupes. So if I could... Okay. So let's put in... I'm gonna just... I'm gonna call my shot on that one so that we don't take an extra damage. That's the best I can do. Ooh! Wait, it randomly put it in for us. Good! It randomly fills it in correctly. Okay, I thought it would... For some reason, I was like, oh, it's going to try to fill it in. I didn't think it was going to be like, it'll perfectly match it. So that's great. I'm not doing another three fight. The difference between a two and a three fight is crazy. Invokes a new enemy when it dies. I know that we don't need to do this. In fact, we shouldn't. But I thought us potentially having the ability to get the kill here would be interesting. And then what's this? The turn counter is reduced at the start of your turn. At When it reaches zero, the enemy self-destruct inflicting you with 10 damage points. Reduces by one? Oh my god! No, it reduces by so much. It has a counter of two. That's crazy. The good news is I can stop it. The terrifying news is that guy is just... He exists. He exists and that's frightening. Here I was thinking, I was like, oh, we got 10 turns? That's perfect. We can stall off him. No, 10 damage in two turns. Woof. That's actually kind of nasty with it. 
We're definitely going for the two fight, as much as I kind of want to get some uh, consumables here. All right, let's slow down. Oh my god. So we definitely want this one dead first. But we, we want him dead and we want him dead with all of our abilities used. It's a little bit awkward because we have like such a good way to potentially um, solve this, but oh well. Okay, a little bit of armor. Good. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, it's got to be above a four and a four. Hit me with some randoms. Nice. We have it. We have it and we can't heal off of it. So we just kill. We kill for the one and the one. Thank you. Next. I feel like that uh, the transition screen could go a little bit faster just because... Just because it could. <laughs> Let's get... We have seven bucks. That's enough to, that's enough to justify going to a shop. Roll a random die for every three dice of value one you use. Two extra random dice to your dice pool the next turn after killing an enemy. The snowball effect of that is huge. And it also means, like, I, I'm not going to go for a triple fight here because I'm just... It's very dangerous. I wish there was a middle ground between two and three here. Like 2.5. So this one needs to go first. And you do damage to me whenever I do a freaking ability. So I guess I'm not even going to try to get extra juice going. We've learned. All right. So we have a little bit of damage overflow there. Oh, thank you very much. You do, yeah, you do two damage when I... You just two damage when I use an ability, but if I'm killing him this turn, it's still worth it. Oh my god. If we use up the two moves, but it's barely worth it. It's like, what's the other option, right? I might as, I might as well take the heal of one, right? The net heal of one. No benefit to just not doing it. <laughs> I think we have to go for the heal here, unfortunately. 12 is so much. Add three extra fire dice to your pool for the next turn. Put in a five or higher to roll two. A six of any kind and a five to get three armor points. Uh, that feels like that's a bit too... S low and stall focused. But we could abuse it. The fact that... Hmm. Ignition Blast is pretty good. A five of any kind. A five of a plus of any kind to roll two fire dice. We're, we're super on a mono fire, like, angle here. Oh, God. We go for a triple or we get the... I mean, we know that we can get stuff. There's a four up there. I'm not doing a four. We'll spend our five. We know we can buy something. Add two points to the gold coin bonus at each campsite. Upgrade a random die by one point at the start of each turn. It's not great, but we do have synergy. We have two uh, abilities that care a lot about... Uh, sorry, easiest choice of my life. No, I'm not fighting the four. <laughs> I'm not fighting the four and exploding when the threes destroy me. We've got new enemies. Poison die boil... Two points of damage whenever you use a skill. I mean, screw you. But I also need to get you out of the way. This is actually a little bit spooky to put in the one. Because we are less likely to get those. But we got it anyways. So which one are you? Okay, good. You're doing four. Oh, this is this is a dream. An actual dream. Thank you. Get out of here. Next. Good, good, good. A 
I just want to see what you are. I want to see what you're all about. Oh boy. Burns remove color of two random dice from pool, your pool at the start of the turn. Pool. <laughs> You're going to self-destruct for 10 damage unless I put in that many fives in two turns. Oh, so it just removes the color of the dice, but they can still be used for gotcha. Oh, this is bad though. I'm going to go bold with it. Um, doesn't feel like it panned out. Ooh, surely. So we can't kill you. I can't kill you either because if I put, unless I want to take two damage, if I t t take two damage, I can kill you and I can reduce my damage intake by four. I can't kill you on this turn. So I'm actually reducing my damage intake by two, but also more importantly, I, okay, please put it over here. Statistically, it's gonna, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Statistically, it's gonna go down to the bottom one. We never even use this. I mean, what do you want from me? This is gonna, it's gonna suck. So you burnt those. It's pretty annoying. I have the fours. And I have the six. So you can four, four, and the six. So I can use this to get the doubles. Alright. So we're going to go for... God, are we really going to take the ten damage, though? I mean, we'll take... Slightly less if so we put the four in the four in we increase this I think we just we cut our losses and accept the heal up to 25 and this so we'll be taking nine damage hey paper right yeah that sucks that's oh wait I thought that it was gonna explode it did yeah, no, that's literally a two-turn timer where you're supposed to put in six five-pluses. That seems unreasonable to have as a guy who just also happens to be there. <laughs> oh, no. It's getting bad. I just... I don't feel like I want to go get consumables, really. I want to... We'll do this fight. We'll get eight bucks. We can go to the shop. Okay. Step one is pretty obvious. Are you for real? This is real? Ten damage unless you put in three of the exact same. Please fill up this. I'm not going to question it. But it does mean it needs to be a six. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, shoot. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm kind of just trying to... Put it... I wish that these had the highlights, because it's just... That's what it is. It's... Okay. Um, shoot. Give me a six of any kind. RIP, man. This hurts so bad. So we do need to get sixes. That I'll be honest though, we filled that up a lot more than I thought we would, but this is just kind of um <coughs> stupid amount of damage. Yikes. We're gonna see what we get out of those. Okay, the fours. No, 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 dumb. 
too quick on that. We're gonna fill that out at least. But we didn't have the he we just we couldn't get the heal. I was trying to greed for it. All right, we're going to the shop, of course. You better believe it. Less than eight points. Upgrade all of your dice by one point after using a skill is really interesting. If I... That might work at... It might mean eight or less, but I kind of doubt it. Okay. Fighting a twofer, we sh this should be not bad, at the very least. I hate you. So I take five damage for using it, or I take two damage for doing this. I'd rather take the two damage, obviously. All right. Go for the heal. All right, well, there's a situation where it actually does screw us over a little bit. I need a toot. Thank you. Needs a strong word, but I want it. All right, we could try and stay and stall and stay and stall and stay and stall and stay and stall. But I don't like playing that way. So we can heal up to full. Or not net, not... You know, nearly full. You know, just with the way we're playing here, it really feels like we should just keep going for that. Okay, I'll tell you what. If we go to one of... Mm, we have to do a four, uh, a four fight, no matter what. I hate the placement of this artifact merchant, unfortunately. There's a ch chance, though... There, I know that there are some things that cost four. That... It's got like a cannon? I don't know any of these enemies. I don't know what they do, so we're just gonna have to... Go in, go ham. Three whenever you use a skill. So you're literally just gonna blow up for ten immediately, huh? I mean, this is weird. I got pretty close to being able to handle that, but I, I just, I can't, I guess. Okay. Man's gonna blow up. Right here. I feel like it shouldn't be on turn... I don't... Am I crazy? It feels like it shouldn't be... Uh, uh, it, the fact that you are forced to focus him first and use all of your dice, I feel as though, personally... That's fine. That, um... The fact that you have to focus him and all the enemies get free attacks on you should be enough. Maybe I'm crazy. We managed to get through that. That was not too shabby. But that was the three fur, and I wish we could have been leaving that fight at full health, because we are about to be doing um, a different one. I'll say in a fight like this, having that guy that will just auto away himself would maybe be beneficial, but... But, yeah, I was going to say, but I don't really want to see him... Freeze all your skills when it dies. Uh... Okay, here's um here's a cool thing we can do. That helps. And then we force ourselves to get a six. What is I don't know what freeze means, though. Man that man's gonna blow up. That just like 
I, that's, the balance on that is super wacky to me. But whatever. Okay. We kind of need to do the reroll here, and then they get all increased. That helps. Is there a reason? Okay, so we have... We have six, a six... Okay, so wait, hold on. This go and the, the four and the five go here. The six, and then we, we're good. I, I did it. I did it. And we want to do it in this order because I don't know what freeze means. Oh, that's right. We had that anyways. Oh, oh nearly. Oh, nearly. Oh, nearly. Yeah. Yeah. We're dead. <laughs> the fact that we have to do the fight first before we can spend our money, it's the nail in the coffin, I think, on that one. All right. We need to get... We needed to get the even numbers first. Okay. Wait, what's your deal? What? <laughs> Screw you. Okay. So if we do this... We could put in the four. If we're willing to use two abilities, which I hate. Four, and then we use the ability on that. And then we bump another. Oh, boy. And then this is what? This is a five. Two. God, this is, this is a nightmare. Okay, so we want to put this here. We want those to be in beforehand. We might die anyways, but I, I think that was about the best we could have squeaked out there for setting up our next turn. Yeah, we die. <laughs> we die anyways, just because the amount of damage that they have outputting at any given time is, quite frankly, disturbing. <laughs> like, it is truly just... Kill kill them all in turn one, or you are going to explode. I do want to know, is there a different character? Ooh. I'm assuming... Okay, so yeah, we have these ones here. Interesting. Reroll the dice in your dice pool. Roll one holy die. can be used as any other... Gotcha. Any other color? Upgrade your fire dice by one point at the start of each turn. Roll a fire die at the start of each battle. Upgrade your fire dice by five point at the start of each battle. Wait, what? Oh, okay. By five points at the start of every battle, or one at the start of every turn. Which, noteworthy. Then you have you. Roll two random dice. The power of the skill is increased with each enemy killed and restarted to two when used. Roll a holy die, receive a damage point. Holy die can be used in any color. Upgrade a die value to six and receive a damage. Recover two health for every three enemies you kill. Your max health is increased by one point. You recover three health at the start of each campsite. One extra darkness die to dice pool for the next turn. This is really neat. I, it had like yeah, it has the same things that I was rubbing up against in uh, in right and down. The only thing that I found that I was like a little bit like, Ugh, and that was kind of the balance. It's very much this war of attrition uh, gameplay style that carried its way over from the original right and down that I feel like with your approach towards this system of this style of combat didn't need to carry over with it. Because that was kind of what I was looking forward to most uh, not being there is that kind of like... It, 
there's just like an overwhelming amount of random BS go like slapped in your face because it's like there's four you know four enemies it's like this one's like uh literally if you don't solve this in one turn you take 10 damage good luck but also if the other guy is going to be doing seven damage to you uh if you don't or you solve that one so it's like there's there is a large large amount of guaranteed damage coming in it almost feels as though there needs to be, to counteract it, there needs to be a full heal at the end of every zone is almost how it feels, the way that it's approached. I'm not saying it's not the case, you know, the case or not the case or anything like that. I'm just saying it's just this constant dragging down feeling uh, of your health, which is kind of fun in its own right. And I will say, I, I like this a lot and I'd be happy to play a lot more. But there are some enemies that are just like, does it really need to be that, though? You know, it is what it feels like. Does it really need to be that? Because on its own, is it that much of a problem? No, but it's always going to be with another enemy. And it's probably going to be with two other enemies. And near the end of the game, it's going to be with three other enemies. And it is just like the difference in difficulty of adding an extra enemy in the encounter it's like it's not like um like a slay the spire or something like that. It's like a DND, you know, where adding another unit of the same level to the pool does not make the fight twice as hard. It makes it much more than twice as hard. Uh, so alas, alas, though that is that. That's gonna do it every day for writing down and dice. <laughs> Sorry, I really like it. I'd love to play more of it. That issue that I have with it, pretty small. Also, I don't like the sound of the button click in the tutorial. And I guess technically what would be the consumables, but we never used those. Maybe that was why. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think that sound should be changed. Big whoop. Like, who cares? That's such a small thing. And then the other thing is, like, in a game like this, balance is going to be important for it to feel right. But it's a really cool concept. I'm terrified to see that there's an ascension system based off of how brutal the first difficulty feels. Uh, last, last, check out the demo for yourself with the link at the top description. My name is Retromation. Cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.